Hello, welcome to Health Watch. I'm Sophie Scott. Australian scientists have made an important breakthrough in the fight against cancer. They've developed a blood test to detect 15% of all cancers, including some of the most aggressive forms like brain tumours and bone cancers. Researchers hope it will also help them find new anti-cancer drugs. Tom Waterson was diagnosed with a brain tumour when he was just two years old. Now at 20 and three brain operations later, he's still living with the cancer. Haven't been able to do any aggressive sports or anything like that and haven't been able to drive until maybe recently. A new blood test being developed is giving hope to Tom and other cancer patients. Doctors at the Children's Medical Research Institute in Sydney have discovered the DNA in 15% of cancers is unusual. It's circular and shed into the bloodstream. That means it can be picked up by a blood test. Bone cancers, a particular type of brain cancer, uh, connective tissue cancers such as um, uh, fat cancers, Uh, and to a lesser extent also um, breast cancers and lung cancers also. The test will show whether chemotherapy is working and give patients a more accurate prediction of life expectancy. Being able to see the future would be just wonderful. We'd be able to just take that worry off our backs. This is a major step forward in understanding this class of tumours and it's a major step forward uh, in the search for new forms of treatment. Researchers are hopeful the new blood test will be available within the next year, but new anti-cancer treatments could take another 10 to 15 years to develop. Recent tests have given Tom some good news. His brain tumour hasn't grown, but he hopes the new blood test would lead to even better news. It means it'd be a lot easier. I might actually be able to get rid of it at some point. Hope also for millions of other cancer patients. A new surgical procedure is offering hope for thousands of Australians at risk of having a stroke. In an Australian first, a new device will be implanted into the heart of a patient who suffers from atrial fibrillation, a common heartbeat irregularity. It means patients with the condition who take blood thinning medication might be able to throw their tablets away and start a new life. Vic Lucas and his cardiologist, Dr Karen Phillips, are about to make medical history. Next week, Dr Phillips will fit the 73-year-old with a device designed to prevent strokes. It's going to come from the leg um, up to your heart here. Eight years ago, Vic Lucas was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, a heartbeat abnormality caused by the distortion of electrical messages to the heart. The risk of stroke is high. So, yeah, it's pretty pretty scary stuff so I'm very very fortunate that I got through it. Around a quarter of all strokes are caused by atrial fibrillation and up until now at-risk patients have had to take potentially lethal blood thinning medication. So it changes your life, you have to be careful what you do, uh, can't get cut, hurt your head, it's slightly to kill you so anything will get you off that's great. More than 90% of the blood clots form inside the heart in the blind ending pocket. It's long been known strokes could be prevented if the pocket is sealed off. This new device offers a way to do it quickly and easily. The plug is inserted into the heart via keyhole surgery. The patient's own tissue then grows over the device, sealing the pocket. Once this becomes widely available, we hope that over the years, uh, hundreds will then turn into thousands who can benefit from a a simple treatment uh, that we hope is going to be more effective and and safer than the existing drug treatment at the moment. For Vic Lucas, who turned 73 today, it'll be the best birthday present ever. And just a quick update on the conjoined twins who were separated last week. Trishna and Krishna are out of intensive care and continue to amaze doctors with their recovery. That's all for now. See you next week.